بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم we begin with Allah's blessed name we praise him and we glorify him he ought to be praised and glorified and we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all the blessed prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam our prophet Allah's blessing be upon him was walking by some companions who were sitting and talking amongst them said when he asked what are you talking about and they said we're talking about the signs of the last day then he said the last day would not come and then he mentioned 10 he mentioned 10 this is a very famous hadith the 10 signs are not mentioned in the order in which they will occur no but the last one is mentioned that this will be the last so there will be nine which will be followed by number 10 and of course the 10 signs are number one the Jal, number two Gog and Magog number three the return of the son of Mary number three is the Baturad number four is Dukhan or smoke number five the sun will rise from the west uh, uh, number six, seven, and eight. I'm missing one. Seven, eight, and nine are the three cut the three movements of the earth. The earth opening and swallowing what it swallows. I may have missed out one in between. And number ten. These are the words. Wa'akhiruhu, and the last of them all. Narun takhruju min al Yemen. A fire which will come out of Yemen. Tadrulun nasu ila maksharihim. We shall drive people to their place of gathering. To their place where they must gather. Gather forward purpose. This is something to be interpreted. And when we interpret you, don't do it with boxing gloves. No, because only Allah can confirm that an interpretation is correct. But if someone gives an interpretation and it is correct, then it becomes the truth. And the truth will survive. The dogs can bark as much as they want. The caravan will keep on moving. Oh, yes. So what? it is that they'll be gathering for when the fire comes out of Yemen I, I'm seeing the heat of that fire now in Yemen I'm seeing the Houthi in Yemen behaving differently from the others uh, who are stu stooges of the Saudis that part of Yemen which has been fighting Saudi Arabia for the last 10 years it is that part of Yemen which is saying no we will not allow genocide to take place in Yemen in, in Gaza we will not allow it and so now they are attacking the ships which are transiting the Red Sea and the Red Sea has a very narrow passageway um, this, this is the Mandam, I think it's called, uh, in the, at the bottom of the Red Sea. And if you are there, you can command it. And they, they are there, they control that portion. And so now, the, the Houthis, they have drones and they have missiles. They're getting that, this drone, they're getting the drones and they're getting the missiles in the same way that the Islamic resistance got it <laughs> In, in, um, in Gaza yes they got it in Gaza and Israel knew they were coming in Gaza yes Israel knew that Israel allowed it to come but in the case of the Houthis the Israel can't stop it it's coming to the, to the Houthis and the arsenal of, of, of weapons is, is, is enormous already and those who are supporting the Houthis and supporting the Palestinians are powerful players in the world and they can they can send more and more weapons to the Houthi 
And so now the United States of America and Britain have decided to attack. And they've attacked with missiles, attacking the boot Houthis in different parts of Yemen. And I am making this video to suggest to you, that's all I'm doing, that this could be the heat of the fire which is to come. And that when this fire erupts, the indication would be that the fire from Yemen is going to bring them all to their place of assembly for destruction. Now all those who are going to be destroyed will now be brought to that part of the world by this fire. And so we see them starting off with only Britain and France, and I don't know who else who's supporting them, but the, the coalition will continue to go until they're all, all brought to the Mashar, the place of assembly for destruction. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.